Hi there, it's Natasha and thank you so much for joining me today. This is a very quickly created card um, that we are going to create today and I'm using these three colours are kind of what inspired me. I'm going to start off by using the Red Violet from Americana and I'm just going to put some down on my craft mat. I originally thought I was going to kind of paint it on, sort of thin it down and paint it on. But this is how fast things change around here. So I kind of watered down the paint and then I'm like, mm, actually. <laughs> so I paint it kind of all over my craft mat and add a little bit more water and then just go to town kind of like I would if I were using inks. Um, but as I said, I've watered down the paint so it's kind of uh, nice and liquidy and it does splotch really nicely. I do want to leave a few little white spots. Um, and not cover it all up but I certainly want all of that beautiful texture within the paint. Now to create some flowers quickly I die cut that out about six times I think. That is from a little die of trio of flowers from Ali and I will link it down below and then I'm just quickly going to glue them all together. The glue in here is the Ranger uh, glue, the multi-medium in the matte finish and that is my go-to glue at the moment. Then, as I said, I kind of was inspired by that blue colour. So this is the uh, tumble glass. And I actually haven't even inked up my sponge yet. I am just going around the outside of these flowers. And it just gives this really kind of nice blue light tinge. And it makes them stand out a lot more than if I were to just keep them white. You can see much better in this close-up the little uh, tinge of blue. Now I'm going to be using some of the antiqued bronze. This is a Tim Holtz um, Distress Paint. I have poured way too much down on my um, craft mat, but I have watered it down with a little bit of water and I'm just going to use a paintbrush to splatter it on. Now, absolute truth be told, I have nicknamed this card while I'm editing Ida's inspiration because my daughter was creating a canvas beside me and these are the three colors that she chose to do on her canvas. And I might even include a picture here, I'm not sure, but it was actually gorgeous and I saw it and thought that is something I need to turn into a card and so she and I went to the craft room and started making this card. So just to use up some of that bronze paint we are painting a little dot in the center of each of the flowers and that kind of you know draws it all together and keeps everything coordinating. We have cut down our panel here and it's kind of hard to point out but these two colors together are just so pretty. Um, this is the stamp set I'm going to be using for the sentiment and I just want that happy birthday up in the top left hand corner and just a nice simple stitched banner. These are from Ali as well and I'm going to cut that out and I don't need the full banner. I only need a little bit so it doesn't matter that it hung over the edge and stamp it using some Versafine Onyx Black ink. Then I am going to use some nice extra wide uh, double sided tape. And this is just nice and fast and easy so that I can adhere down the whole back of this card. And because I had used lots of water on the card, it wasn't too badly warped at all actually, but uh, using nice double-sided tape just ensures that it sits nice and flat on our card base. I'm just going to cut it a little bit shorter and I can use my scissors because I'm lining up the stitched lines uh, on the from the die so that I know that it's nice and straight. And then I am just going to use the tumble glass, the same tumble glass, because I want to keep uh, tying everything in all together. And I'm just going to go really lightly around the outside of that banner. As I said, this card was super quick and simple. And it wasn't meant to be complicated. I just really liked the colors that uh, she was using. And so we turned it into a card. And added some foam tape to the back of my sentiment. And then I will just glue all these gorgeous little flowers. They look really um, kind of that the copper, the bronze, sorry, in the middle of the flowers just makes them. You kind of can't see the shine in the video, I must admit. But it is a metallic paint. So you kind of, yeah, it does shine nicely in the center of the flowers. And also the spattering on the back um, of the card. Yeah, you can't, can't really pick it up in the video, but you'll just have to trust me. And at this point, I was almost completely done with the card, but when I was just uh, holding it here, kind of showing you guys, I did think that the center of the flowers could be a little bit more impressive. So I'm going to quickly add a little bit of um, tonic Nouveau Drops in the Morning Dew color, which is would be the same as using glossy accents. And it does make the middle of the flowers go all cloudy. 
but when it was dry, it created the perfect little center to the flowers. That's our card for today. Let me know what you think of this simple, quickly card making card, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks, bye.